Hello and welcome to Enterslice YouTube channel. I am Komal Singh and today we will be discussing a crucial update from the Reserve Bank of India that directly impacts the anti-money laundering and combating financial of terrorism compliances. RBI has made significant amendments to the KYC master direction, affecting various regulated entities including non-banking financial companies. In this video, we will explore the key modification brought about by these amendments and understand how they affect NBFC. So, Let's begin by summarizing the important changes introduced by RBI. Identification of beneficial owner. The criteria for identifying beneficial owners of partnership firms have been revised. The threshold for beneficial owners qualification has been lowered to 10% ownership or share of profit and individuals. Exercising control over management or policy decisions are now considered beneficial owners. NVFC must conduct KYC procedures for such individuals. Principal Officer Designation The Principal Officer responsible for ensuring compliances and providing information to Director. FIU IND must now hold a management level position within the organization. Periodicity of MLTF Risk Assessment The decision-making authority for determining the frequency of MLTF risk assessments can now be delegated to a committee of the board, enhancing efficiency for NBFCs. Applicability of Group-wide AML Policies the group-wide AML policy applies solely to regulated entities within the group and not to unregulated entities, clarifying its scope. Filing of Suspicious Transaction Report NBFC must file an STR with the director, FIU IND, if they cannot apply appropriate customer due diligence, measures for a customer, prompt and diligent action is required in such cases. Compliance for outsourcing of KYC functions, records or CDD information from third party entities must now be obtained immediately, eliminating previous two day grace period, emphasizing the importance of timelines in compliance. Record maintenance of walk in customers NBFC must maintain record for walk in customers, individuals who do not have accounts with the entity but engage in transaction with them. Simplified procedures for opening accounts Continuous monitoring is required for accounts opened through the simplified procedure and standard CDD. Process must be followed in case of suspicion. Disclosure of trustee status NBFC are obligated to obtain the status of trustees in specific scenarios including account-based relationship, transaction involving a minimum of 50,000 rupees and when there are suspicious of transaction structuring. In conclusion, these amendments reflect RBI commitment to strengthening AML and CFT measures in the financial sector. However, it is important to note that these changes also increase operational costs and timelines for NBFCs. The government has introduced initiatives like that central KYC registry and a single unique KYC ID to streamline the process for NBFC and borrowers. Ensuring the efficiency and security of such public infrastructure is crucial as the regulatory landscape continues to evolve. Thank you for joining us on Enterslice YouTube channel. If you found this information valuable, please like, share and subscribe for more updates on the financial regulations and compliances. If you have any questions or need further information, feel free to ask in the comments below. Stay tuned for more insightful content. Thank you.